Hi, hi, Crystal here. Welcome to another video with the Intact Immersive HQ. In this video, we will continue our artist series where we create touch designer projects inspired by other artists. And today we're covering Yayo's Kasuma. Uh, Yayo Kasuma is a Japanese contemporary artist who works primarily in sculpture and installations. And I was especially inspired by this installation room where this have these kind of organic shapes and I just thought we need to make this in touch designer. So I'll show you what I got. <laughs> Again, this is inspired. It's not a complete replica of her work and but I had fun making these meta balls and adding these textures and having the making a room for the meta balls. And even though it has textures on everything, but it has different um, different perspectives that creates a interesting look. So I'm excited to show you how this works and let's begin. As always, let's start with a clean network and we are going to first make the room, which is using box ops. So I'll first put my first box off and it looks like it's just a flat plane. If you make a viewer active and you move it, you see that it is indeed a box. I'll change the size from one, one to two because I want it to be a long room and I'm going to copy and paste this and change some of the things where the size it'll be 0 0.99, 0 0.99 two thing is because it's a box it still has all four sides but i just want to make it hollow so what we're going to do is have this box another box and like cut all the pieces that are inside so i'm going to make this a little bit smaller so we have an edge of, i guess 0 0.01 of uh for the for that size of the box but right now it's just inside the middle, so we have to shift it a little bit forward, so we'll have it to be a uh, zero, zero point, point uh, one. So you saw it just moved a little bit. So let's have a Boolean. So Boolean will just let allow us to subtract it. And I'm gonna move this to the side over here. You can see that this is just kind of right, right on it. And I want to change this operations to a minus two. So now this is subtracted on this. And now we have like a room E kind of thing. And we're going to add a lot more different SOPs after this. But for now, I will add a null. I'll call this long room. And I will add a geometry. So we just have the main base of the room and also this geometry called room geo. Great. Let's start with the meta balls now. So I'm going to add a meta ball and I'm going to have this to be 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0.5. I'm going to copy this and copy and paste this two times and add a merge. Right now you just see one thing because they're all stacked on top of each other. But if you never use metaballs, um, if you change AC, they kind of have this goopy-ish look when they cross between each other. So cool, we have these three. Um, I'm gonna add a noise so then the noise will affect the shape, the position of the metaballs. So I'll do a noise chop. This noise chop in the channel, I'll change the channel names to TX and TY and the common page time slice, I'll turn it on. So now you'll have these two channels that keep going and I'll add a null after this. And I'm going to play around with these parameters, but at first, uh, actually, yeah, I'm going to adjust some of these, I will have it to be roughness to be zero and amplitude to be seven. Uh, let's start with the first one where I'm gonna make this viewer active and make this to be center X and center Y. Great, one more thing, uh, I forgot this meta balls. I want this weight to be seven. 
and just make it a little bit less crazy. I'm going to copy and paste this two more times. And I, for now, I'll just, just drag this to be center Y, X and Y too. And this one for center X and Y. Um, depending on your noise, it might be um, the same. So you can also play with the different seeds if that's the case. I'll just have this be um, three different seeds. And let's kind of play with some of these, these parameters. So the noise, I'll have the harmonics to increase to say three and the period to be a bit higher, maybe like 2.5, it makes it less fast. And that seems good for now. Great. After this, I will add a convert. The convert will make it to an actual like uh, a mesh. And the convert, see how it's like all kind of um, angled. So we can increase this U and V until where it's smooth. And if you increase this, you may notice your FPS um, dropping. So if you know if I make it higher, you see my FPS drop. Um, if it's not too high, like 1.5, 1.5, um, it should be fine. But if you do see a dropping, you can either change your FPS to be 30 or you can make everything hide by the view of viewer. And then you should see your FPS to um, start going back up. Great. I'll add a null. I'll call this the meta ball. Splash. <laughs> and then I'll add some more uh, sops later, but for now I'll just add a geometry and um, call this the meta ball. Actually, I'll call it the ball geo. Great. Once we have these two geometries, let's add a camera and a light. And a render. Pop. Call this out. So, as we'll see, everything's really close to the metal balls, and the room is too small. So, let's first, for the room geo, make the uniform scale to 10. And now it's bigger, but the camera is still pretty close. So I will make the camera to be further, uh, like 18. Great. The light I will play with once we actually have a texture. And let's do the textures right now. So I'll add a circle. A circle top. Uh, top. And I'll make this resolution to be 1000 by 1000. Great. And the circle, I'll have the, the radius to be 0.15 and 0.15. First circle, done. Copy, paste, just make a second circle. I'm going to have this be 0 .28 and 0 0.28. Cool. And we'll copy and paste this and make our, my last circle, which I'll have to be 0 0.2 and point two. Uh, you can make it any other radius. This is just so similar to what I did earlier, but I will have a layout and let's do, um, actually pipe this first and then these two and then this. So big, small, small, big, um, but I'm going to change the line to grid grid rows and I may change this order or keep the same but essentially I want two bigs across of each other and two smalls from across of each other and I'm going to add a transform and this transform rotation I'm going to do abs time offering 
and then have it rotating. Make sure that when it's rotating, whatever radius you do, that it is within the borders. So why I did 0.8 versus 0.3 is if I did 0.3, it will touch the edge and then it wouldn't be, um, then you'll, it won't look great once you texture it if you see the edge. So after this, I'll add another transform. And this transform on the tile page, I will make it to be repeat. And I'm going to scale this down. Scale it down. Awesome. Um, in this background, I am going to have the background to be red. Uh, you can make the alpha to one. Make sure comp over background color is on. And select the red color and the make it not as obnoxious red great i'm gonna add a no i'll call this dot text the texture great let's make a material let's make a fall material it's fall material i'm gonna add a null afterwards and um, I will drag this texture onto here and make it to be the color. And I will drag this first to the geo. And if you're gonna get an error, and that's fine for now. And then also gonna do for the room, we just wanna see what's happening. And um, we have an error here, and this is not happy. Let's start with the room where before the null, I'll add a attribute create. And in attribute create, I'll turn on compute normals. So that already did something. And then after attribute create, I'll add a texture swap. And this texture swap, you can play around this texture types, uh, types <laughs> that you'll have different results, but because it's a box, this is actually kind of cool other than this inside part. Um, but what I did was faces. But let's just also just see what other options we have. So this is uniform, um, perspective by camera, nothing. Ooh, this is also kind of interesting. Um, the fisheye. Maybe, maybe, nah, I'll, I'll keep it to faces. So choose what you want. Uh, I go back to choosing faces, but the fish eye 360, um, a quad stand a zim, yeah, <laughs> is also a cool option. Great. I'll keep this to faces. Um, and then let's do the ball one. So after the convert, we will add a texture. And this texture, we I'm going to have this to be the background so we can see what's happening. So this is fine, but I found the sphere one a lot more interesting. Yeah, so I kept the, the, the sphere one. Um, it might also help to increase this a little bit just so it's just smoother. Um, cause some, if it's too low, then the circle kind of looks kind of pixelated on the edges because the geometry itself is more jaggedy and, um, it'll translate into the texture. So you'll see my FPS dropping, but it kind of textures better. Cool. And I'll just make this viewer off and... FPS is still pretty low. Um, let's get this to be 2.5, 2.5. Okay, cool. My FPS is back. Great. So I have a lot of this, but um, it looks pretty dark. Um, let's do a few things. This Fong. I'm going to change this Fong parameters where the diffuse I want it to be. Oops. I want it to be white. And already it just brightens everything up a little bit. And the specular also wanted to be lighter. Um, and this constant 
Um, this is kind of fun where I actually did this like purple. Um, you can have it. Yeah. This purple, which kind of give brightens everything and, um, kind of have the shadows be like an interesting choice. Um, uh, <laughs> and afterwards, um, just a little extra thing. I add a bloom. You can play around with the bloom parameters. This is kind of, oops, the pre brightness pretty low and have the pre minimum bloom. Um, I'm going to actually make the circles a little bit smaller, smaller still. Let's make this 2.5. Do I need zeros here? And that is. Touching the edge. There you go. I want to continue playing with this bloom a little bit. I feel like this is bloom intensity. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you make something uh, with this tutorial, feel free to tag us at um, the Interactive Immersive HQ and also my personal handle, and I'll put my handle down in the caption, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like our YouTube content, I highly recommend you check out the Interactive and Immersive HQ Pro. The HQ Pro is the only comprehensive educational resource and community for immersive design, touch designer, and creative tech pros. In the HQ Pro trainings, we cover almost any topic you can think of, and we go way more in depth than we do in our YouTube tutorials. We have a private group where Matthew Reagan, myself, and our other industry veteran and pioneer teachers answer your questions every single day. If that sounds cool, click the link in the description to learn more. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more free touch designer and immersive content.